are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. carry for Christian McCaffrey only a couple for him there on the game's first play and it's second down certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield their job is to go ahead and get low almost get into a ball sometimes stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And with the play clock about to expire, Kyle Shanahan's going to use a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. He'll drop to throw. Open man left side, it's the tight end Trimble. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house from Buccaneer TD. It was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. As sitting in first place in the division, they've got an open date on the calendar coming up next week. So, Charles, you and I were talking about this before the game. This one for them kind of has some extra importance. It certainly does because if they can get the win here and pad their lead a bit or at least keep pace, then they can really kick their feet up and say a job well done at this point and not have to worry about ball at all until they're back in their facility, back in their meeting room getting ready for the next game. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They'll come up now on second and a yard. 
They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So first and 10 now from the 30. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Not much there, only a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Terrace Marshall, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward. But they kick it here, and it's good. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's a give to Jones running left. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Looking to throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. And here's Hoff Richter now, the punter, as he sends this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Now they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Here we go on second and 12. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. So the pitch and catch good for 11. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and in inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. These two teams all tied after one. Back 
back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Out of the gun now on third down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. This is taken at about the 14. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. The crowd maybe losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach... Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Ahead of the chains now, second and two. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. Hands it off out of the gun. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Aaron Donald has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves. Certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. This one swung out here to Jones. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here's Sterling Hoffrichter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? And a little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. 
That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Second and five. He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. They'll set up a throw. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a boat down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw here. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better on the and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And the pressure gets to McCaffrey as they stop him short of the line to gain. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Taking a shot here for Marshall. He's got a man complete. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And we will not have a run back here.
since the second half starts with a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Coming up on a second and six. On play action, they'll throw. Steps away to his left. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And this is going to be incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll try and throw for it here. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. The safety landed Collins there to make the tackle. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second and nine now. This one complete to Scott Miller. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 42. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now a first down carry by Jones. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. Yeah, that is incomplete. Many times when a play breaks down and the quarterback's moving around outside of the pocket, you're thinking, just get rid of something short. But a lot of guys are coached, think deep, take the big shot, hoping someone can get lost behind the secondary. They weren't able to connect on that one. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. 
And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Back to throw now on second and 10. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Another catch right there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. But Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now, as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. They'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. They'll drop the throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They go play action here on first down. Taking a shot here for Marshall. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. This is McCaffrey on the give. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 34. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done. And they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Side. McCaffrey's got him. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. 
They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going... And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. Scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Panthers have taken the lead. That touchdown, Charles, the first rushing TD of his rookie year. I don't know that he's going to be Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson or Josh Allen at this stage of his career. But he's got youth on his side. Those young legs, he put them to good use there, didn't he? Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Just rely more on the passing attack. I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try to find some targets in the open field downfield. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Open man is Miller. He's got it. And he is going to have a botched first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Aaron this one out for Evans. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. They'll look to throw. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. 
incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Gonzalez to add the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And following the pick six, and they decent field position and throwing that pick six we'll see how they attack this run and i think all you say to your guy is listen let's just take care of the football a little bit better make some better decisions on this drive and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in but they told him they told us they've got confidence that, that's not a problem yeah not a problem at all they just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. Second and 13. Pass caught, Miller. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. <laughs> They'll look to throw again. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. 
there is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete as well. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's going to get this inside the 30. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for 